Today we'll study another geometric transformation called rotation. Rotation is easily understood. Look at the picture here of a cat. The cat is either turning clockwise or counterclockwise. So think of rotation as turning. Ready? Here we go. Now, on the first part, let us focus on the movement and the changes that happens. The changes that happens every time we do a rotation. First, we're going to talk about clockwise movement. Clockwise is just like the way the hands of the clock turns. Remember, the minute hand goes that way. All right, so we will begin with a 90 degree spin. Okay, that's also called a quarter spin. So from here, it will have to move like that. By the way, this is called your axis of rotation or point of rotation. That's where all the turning around emanates from. Okay, so let's start with 90 degrees. Check this out. What will happen? There you go. That's 90 degrees. Check out the changes that happen. Now we will do a half spin, okay, of clockwise once again, going that way. Check this out. That's 180 degrees. Now let's do counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is the other way. Okay, and we're going to do a 90 degree quarter spin. See that? It went that way. And that's the image. Pre image, again, we will do now half spin, which is 180 degrees. See what happened? So after the rotation, we will see whether the following is preserved or not. The size, we can say they are the same, correct? Turning around doesn't change the size. How about the shape? Yes, they are the same. How about the location? It moved to another location, so not the same. How about the orientation? It looks like it's flipped, but it's not actually flipped. It just turned around. There is no flipping like this, right? Flipping is like this. But the orientation is still the same. Corresponding angles, the 90 degrees is still a 90 degrees, so preserved. How about sides? Did the lens change? No, it's preserved. And if there are parallel lines when you turn around, the parallel lines are also preserved. Okay, remember all of this. Next, we will now focus on the coordinate points. What happens to the pre-image of X and Y? So, first we will examine clockwise movement. Clockwise movement means what? It moves just like the hands of the clock. Okay, we will study the 90, 180, and 270 degrees at an axis at 0, 0. Movement. Okay, clockwise movement, we will start with 90 degree clockwise. So we remember if we go clockwise, we move from this to that direction, okay? And there should be a 90 degree movement. Remember, we will preserve this L movement. It will eventually look like this. See that movement? So the following, to, to be sure that we're using a 90 degree angle, we will now use a tool here. We will start with the 90 degree clockwise movement. So how will this letter L look like once it goes around this way? All right. So we, we, can, we can already predict that it would be here on this quadrant. It will be in this area. But how will it look like, right? So, but remember our point or axis of rotation is at zero, zero. Imagine there's a line here we have to form the 90 degrees that way, okay? But how shall we do it? Check this out. I put a, a square over there. What's the meaning of that square? That means, that's for us to show that we can preserve the 90 degrees here, all right? 90 degrees moving from there to there. You could use a protractor or the edge of any uh, paper. So that's a 90 degrees. And the drawing will look like this, okay? Because it goes around that way. The longer part will be here, 
Alright? So, it's moving that way, that way, until it becomes that way. Okay, so, our new coordinates will be A prime 1 comma negative 2. So, what did we say? 2 comma 1 became a 1 negative 2. Think of a rule. What happened to the numbers? Yes, they switch places. The, the X went over there and the Y became the first number there, right? They switched places. But, yes, what did you observe? This one, the original X became a negative. So let's write it down. They switch places and the original X becomes a negative X. So if you want to make a mapping or, or, a, or a symbol for that, that's going to be Y comma negative X. Okay, remember that 90 degree clockwise. Let's now look at 180 degree clockwise. So we started with this. We said our figure went like this a while ago, right? If we move that way. So what will happen now? To be sure it's 180, I put another... Um, instrument here it could be a paper or a protractor you want to preserve the 180 over here okay so it will move like that okay my drawing is not accurate so let's see how will it look like there you go and it will touch that point it will touch that point it's a guaranteed 180 degrees because of that paper you put there or the ruler okay how far away is this diagonal from the zero, zero? It's the same over here. Now let's write the new points. We have A prime negative 2 comma 1. Okay, from this, it became like that. Based on the previous movement, we said that A 2 comma 1 became A prime negative 1 negative 2. So let's see what our, our observations are. Let's write it down. Look at this. The original x went there right the original y which is the second number became the first number what can you say again they're switching okay let's write it down the switch of places but check out the signs what have you observed oh they both become became their opposites so x and y becomes negative or the opposite so let's write it down as negative y comma negative x now, third experiment, 270 degree clockwise. Check this out. So we've been here. We've been here. 270 would be somewhere here. Okay, how will I know? It's exactly 270 degrees. Check this out. I put my 180. I put another 90 there, a total of 270. So you know, if it turns around, we will preserve that A and that A will be over here. Okay, the A will be somewhere there. We will preserve that and this is a guarantee that this is what angle is 270 degrees okay check this out so it went that way okay and now what can you say the new points will be oh, by the way i'm using triple prime now ne negative one comma two let's write that down in our table now let's write our results in the table once again. Remember the pre-image is 2 comma 1. The next image became negative 1 comma 2. What have you observed? Yes, again, there is a switch of places, X and Y. What happened to X and Y? Look at the look at the original. 2 went over there. Okay. And what else have you observed? The one went over there okay look at the x and the y's what happened we said they switched places and what else the y the original y the original y which is one becomes a negative one do the switching first but the y becomes the opposite the original y so you could write it as negative y comma x so these are the rules for clockwise direction. Now you might ask me, how about counterclockwise? 
Now we will experiment on counterclockwise now. Again, with the 90, 180, and 270 at point zero zero. So counterclockwise will now move this way. And we know if we move 90, this will be, it is going to be in this spot, okay? How will it look like? Again, you put the square to show that this is exactly 90 degrees. That point will move, all the points will move into 90 degree angle. So if it moves, it's going to be like this. Check out the distance, equidistant as well, right? So that becomes, the new A would be negative 1, 2. Let's put that in our chart. Negative 1, 2. What have you observed with the X? Oops, it went last. What have you observed with the Y? Oops. Yes, again, there's a switching of places, but that one became a negative. The X or the Y? Yes, the y becomes a negative y. So how do you write your formula? That's going to be negative y comma x. Let's now do 180 counterclockwise. You know, it's the, the 90 will be here. The 180 would be somewhere there. How do I guarantee it's 180 degrees? Again, you could use a protractor or you could use a paper or a straight edge. So the distance would be here. It should be somewhere here. Letter A would be there. But how will the L look like? It's going to look like this. All right? So it's pointing downward. So the new coordinate would be negative 2, negative 1. Now let's write down the results in the table. So 180 counterclockwise becomes negative 1, comma, negative 2. So what have you observed? Look at the X. It went there. Look at the Y. It went there. Again, what's your observation? Yes, there is a switching of places. And what happens to the positive 2 and the negative and the positive 1? The X and Y becomes the negative. They switch place but becomes the negative or the opposite. Alright? Next. We're going to do counterclockwise 270. We, this was the 90. This is the 180. We know it's going to be somewhere here. If you turn it around, how will it look like? Okay, just to be sure, you know this is uh, 90 degrees, right? So the outside definitely will be 270 because they should add up to 360 degrees. So we will follow that as our guide. That point would be somewhere here, point A. It will turn around that way. So how would the drawing look like? There you go. Okay. So A, A triple prime will now be 1, comma, negative 2. Let's write down 1, comma, negative 2 over here. What have you observed with the X? What have you observed with the Y? Again, they're switching of places. But again, the x, the original x, okay, becomes its negative. See that? x becomes a negative x. So let's write it down as xy becomes y comma negative x. Now we will compare the two movements, the clockwise and the counterclockwise. If you check out the rules, okay, there are some similarities. What have you observed with what happened to X and Y? So first, look at this. The 90 degree clockwise, wow, has the same formula with the 270 degree clock counterclockwise. Do you agree? What else? So, so let's write it down. 90 degree clockwise is equal to 270 degrees counterclockwise. And our formula is y comma negative x. Okay, what else? Oh, these two, the middle part is the same, correct. 180 clockwise is the same with 180 counterclockwise. If you're doing a 
a trick with your skateboard, you could turn around clockwise or counterclockwise, you'll still be in the same position. And our formula, let's write it down. This is the same with that. You switch, but both of them will get the negatives. All right. And lastly, if you look at 270 clockwise, they're the same with 90 degree clockwise. There you go. Okay. So let's write it down. 270 degree clockwise is the same with 90 degree counterclockwise. And our formula is switch places, but the one the, the, the Y gets the negative value or the opposite. So this is the summary of the lesson. Memorize this. Now let's have some guided practice. Okay, let's start with uh, point A at 5-2, clockwise 90. Remember the switching? Yes, write down your formula first. Write down your y comma negative y x, right? So there's a switching. So let's do the switching. 2 goes first. Let's see that. 2 goes first. Where is that? Here. 2 goes first. Switching. And the 5 would be the next number. But remember, the original x, which is 5, becomes its opposite. So negative 5. Okay? How about clockwise 180 formula is switch and different signs so let's switch them so 4 comma negative 2 agree 4 negative 4 became a positive 4 and positive 2 became a negative 2 and switch place all right the next one 9 uh, 270 degree clockwise so write down the formula negative y x so switching but u will be a negative. So let's write it down. Negative 5, 4. All right. So 270 degree clockwise, remember, is the same as this. Okay. So let's write down the same formula and switch places. But u, x, will be a positive. So let's write it down. Negative 5 goes first. But the original x becomes a negative, so, which is a negative of a negative, which is a positive. There you go. Now you're ready to practice on your own. Pause first and then play the video to check your answers. Right? Negative y, comma, negative x, that becomes 4, comma, 8 y comma negative x becomes negative 9 comma negative 6. Formula is y comma negative x because these two are the same, right? These two are the same. Okay, so that becomes negative 2 comma 5. All right, you got it? Now let's summarize. Remember the pre-image of xy? We learned that 90 degree clockwise is equal to 270 degree counterclockwise. And our formula is switch first, yx, but the x gets the negative. 180 degree clockwise is the same as 180 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, And again, switch places, but both of them becomes the opposite. We also learned that 270 degree clockwise is the same as 90 degree counterclockwise. We switch places and who gets the negative? The Y. All right. Good job.